Yeah, you know, without them, I, I don't know where I'd be, and I'm very happy to take this one home. Over the years, the NFL has produced some of the top athletes in the world. Every season, we get to see the rise of new star players who live up to the billing, making their name well-known across the league. But with every rising star, we see just as many wasted talents. While some of the players have only themselves to blame for their dip in form, others are just unfortunate victims of serious injuries or being the right talent on the wrong team. One of such players is superstar wide receiver Odell Beckham, who is anything but a wasted talent. He was a star who entered the league with flair, but also with controversy. Talented but emotional, Odell left everyone with mixed emotions about him. But despite the opinions on his personality and character, what are the facts about his level of talent? How good was he? How far could his potential go? In this video, we will reveal the truth about Odell Beckham Jr. and his true potential in the NFL. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of Odell Beckham Jr. And if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment that hidden message. Good luck. Now, Odell Beckham is one of those individuals that you would call a true born natural athlete. His athletic capabilities were unreal and a big reason why he was able to stand out from so much competition. He had some of that natural athleticism that you just can't teach, it's just natural. Odell's talents were quickly noticed during his college days while playing for Louisiana State University, and his high-value potential was revealed. Drafted by the New York Giants in the first round as the 12th overall pick in 2014, Odell Beckham Jr. entered the league with the highest of expectations. He picked up a hamstring injury before his first season with New York, which led to him missing a majority of the training camp the preseason games, and also the first four games of the season. However, he made his debut in October 24th. November 23rd, the New York Giants rookie wide receiver showcased his talent during the second quarter of the game against the Dallas Cowboys. Beckham, defended by Dallas cornerback Brandon Carr, raced toward the end zone. Quarterback Eli Manning fired from about 50 yards away. As the pass came in, Carr grabbed Beckham's left arm and jersey with a clear pass interference, just trying to keep him from making the catch. The wide and somehow snagged the ball with his fingertips, hauling in one of football's most mind-boggling catches. Fall the catch was put on display in the game against Dallas by the Pro Football Hall of Fame. It didn't take long for Odell to cement his place in the league after he became one of the most successful and productive offensive players for his team. Odell Beckham finished that November creating an NFL rookie record for a month while breaking two rookie records for five straight games with more than 90 yards receiving in a single season and even extended the record to six games by just 12 catches over 140 yards and three touchdowns. He went ahead to break a good number of NFL rookie records while setting a lot more. Not only that though, he also picked up awards that season, like the Offensive Rookie of the Year, which graced him on the cover of NFL Madden, which made him the youngest player ever to do so. By 2015, Beckham continued his brilliant performances, picking over 100 receiving yards in six straight games, season high of 166 yards. The season was as eventful as the one before it as it came with some aggression hurdles. He conceded four penalties with three being a personal foul. He was suspended by the NFL authorities for a game without wages. However, he still proved to be one of the best players in the league as he went ahead to secure high numbers and was named in Pro Bowl for the second year running. It seems each year comes with a bundle of events for OBJ because 2016 was another great year for the star with huge fines for misbehaving. However, the series of fines for his misbehavior on and off the pitch didn't stop him from helping his team return to the playoffs. He got selected for the Pro Bowl for the third consecutive year and was eighth on the players' rank by Players for the Year. OBJ's fourth season wasn't as eventful as the previous ones, and it started a bit differently from the previous two, but similar to his first as an ankle injury made him miss the first game week. He, however, returned in the second game week in a loss against Detroit Lions before picking another injury in game week five. This time, it was a fractured left ankle that had to be surgically operated on and it kept him off the pitch for the rest of the season. It seemed like the beginning of the end for this superstar. After the summer break in August 2018, the New York City Giants announced that Beckham had put pen to paper for a five-year contract extension worth $95 million, with $41 million out rightly guaranteed. 
The new and improved contract meant that Beckham had become the league's highest paid wide receiver. His first game ever recovery was a loss to Jacksonville Jaguars. That season, he had some issues with his quarterback, Eli Manning, as he felt that Manning doesn't get the ball over the top enough. When asked if there was an issue between him and his quarterback, he said, uh, I don't know. We know Eli's not running the ball. He added, like I said, I feel like he's not going to get out of the pocket. Beckham added, we know Eli's not running it, but is it a matter of time issue? Can he still throw it? Yeah, but it's been pretty safe and it's been, you know, cool catching shallow roots and trying to take it over the house. But I want to go over the top of somebody. In that interview with ESPN, he said he hasn't been in a place where I feel like I can really go out and do what I'm capable of doing. I don't get 20 targets like some other receivers. The wide receiver also said he felt like he was being out-schemed. I feel like I'm being out-schemed. And then I also don't have a chance to do something where I've got to take a slant and go 60. And not to say that's not fun, but it's like I want some easy touchdowns too. I watch everybody across the league. All the top receivers get the ball the way that they, you know, should. And if they don't, they say something about it. That season wasn't as great as his previous seasons, and although he was able to keep his numbers very high, it turned out to be his last season in New York. On March 13, 2019, the Giants shocked the football world when the team traded Beckham to the Cleveland Browns. Many critics were questioning Odell's real value as a top receiver after the trade, which had him entering a must-show type of season. In Beckham's first game with the Browns, he caught seven passes for 71 yards, as the Browns lost at home to the Tennessee Titans 13-43. During Monday Night Football against the New York Jets in Week 2, Beckham finished with 161 receiving yards, including a one-handed grab for 33 yards and later an 89-yard touchdown, as the Browns won 23-3 in his first game back at MetLife Stadium since being traded. There seemed to be a lack of connection with Browns quarterback Baker Mayfield, something Beckham was willing to change. The three-time Pro Bowl wide receiver hooked up with Mayfield for only four touchdowns in 16 games. Although the season didn't necessarily go as he would have wanted it to, Beckham still hit some staggering numbers. In the fourth quarter of the final game of the year, the Cleveland Browns wide receiver reached his 1,000-yard baseline. Even with the tough year, he still managed to catch 74 passes for 1,035 yards, alongside his fifth 1,000-yard season in six years, before undergoing surgery to repair a core muscle injury in January. While Beckham had continued to make some headlines with some off-the-field antics, he had been emerging as a leader for the Browns. He was healthier than he had been in several years and showing some of the breakaway speed that made him one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. Having gotten off to their best start since 1994 and eyeing a playoff, the Browns' hopes were seemingly dashed as Beckham's season ended painfully and prematurely. The star wide receiver suffered a torn left knee ligament during their 37-34 win at Cincinnati. It was a devastating personal blow for Beckham, who has had to deal with a lot of injuries and disappointments in the past. But when you take a look at the career of Odell Beckham and you add all of the controversy regarding his emotions, the negative critics who don't give him the credit he deserves, the multiple injuries, and not having the right quarterback-receiver connection on either team, but still being able to accomplish everything he has is not only incredible, but it deserves some respect. The potential of Odell was limitless. But the truth is, with so many obstacles over the years, he may never get the chance to show what he was fully capable of. Who knows how many seasons he has left, but the question remains, will we ever see the best of Odell Beckham Jr. again, or would it just be another case of an amazing career hampered by injuries and obstacles? Let us know your thoughts about this in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and hit that post notification button to make sure you never miss out on any of our future videos. Thanks for watching, until next time.